Hello and welcome to another painting video. In this video, I'll be painting the Orc Blood Bowl team known as the Gouged Eye, which was released when the new edition of Blood Bowl was released all these years ago. I wanted to make a video on how to paint different types of Orc skin, and this team will be perfect for that. Another thing to remove from my pile of shame. Let's start painting some Orcs. Before I begin, I spray all the models with black primer out of my airbrush. You can of course use a rattle can, but I find the airbrush to be a big time saver. <coughs> then with titanium white, I spray a zenithal highlight on all the models. This is perfect for contrast paints and will let me show which things I will need to paint in more detail and which things will be nearly invisible. Alright, orc skin number one. First I paint the skin with Plague Bear Flesh, a very yellowish green color. To get the skin a little bit more green I shade it with Ethonian Camo Shade. Next, I layer on Ogren Camo on all the raised areas of the skin. I layer on Creek Khaki. I make sure the previous step is still visible. On the lips, nose and other parts like the elbows and knuckles, I paint Kislev Flesh to bring some life into the skin. I shade these parts with Reikland Flesh Shade to blend them more with the green skin. The first skin is a very light green olive skin. The human skin tones blended with the green really helps sell the skin to be a little bit more realistic. On to Orc skin number 2. Orc skin number 2 is going to be a lot darker. I base coat the skin with the aptly named Orc Flesh. I layer on Skarsnik Green on all the raised areas of the skin. Orcs are easy to layer because of their deep set features and huge muscles. I layer on a mix of Skarsnik Green and Dorn Yellow to highlight the skin even more. With Dorn Yellow I paint all the areas like lips, nose, knuckles and elbows to make them a lot brighter. These areas are then painted with the contrast paint Gulliman Flesh. This is a more classic looking orc. The skin is very deep green which works best on big orcs. I still added some human skin tones to some areas to liven it up a little bit. On to orc skin number 3. Orc skin number 3 is first base coated with Gut Rip of Flesh. A very nice, fresh looking green that covers really well. I layer on Nurgling Green on all the raised areas. I then layer on a mix of Nurgling Green and Deepkin Flesh. With Deepkin Flesh I highlight lips, nose, knuckles and elbows to make them stand out and brighter. And I shade these previous areas with Serapim Sepia. This is basically the skin recipe I used on my goblins and I gotta say it works a little less on the orcs. The skin is a bit too bright for my liking and there isn't a lot of contrast. Still, the recipe is sound if you want to paint smaller orcs or goblins. On to the last skin variant. Orc skin number 4 is going to be a bit different. I shade the zenithal skin with Coelia Green Shade. Then I layer on a mix of Sons of Horus Green and Deepkin Flesh. I add Palace Wish Flesh to the previous layer and layer again, this time focusing more on the parts that are hit by light. 
Lips, nose, knuckles, etc. are highlighted with deepkin flesh. And painted with Achillean green to add some contrast. This is the odd one of the bunch, but I like it. A more blue-green skin will add some nice variety to a horde of orcs. I believe one of the orc skins in World of Warcraft also had a more bluish tint. The following details are all shared by the orcs. I paint teeth and fingernails with Usapti bone. Shade them with Skeleton Horde. And highlight them with Screaming Skull. The eyes of the orcs are painted with Evil Sun Scarlet. And highlighted with a dot of Dorn Yellow. Any tongues are painted with Volupius Pink. I paint the shirts with Ulthan Grey. I basically highlight the zenithal highlight that I made. So don't cover the entire shirt, just paint the areas that are white to create a more even coat. All leather is painted with Gore Guntra Fur Contrast Paint. And highlight it twice. First with Scrag Brown. And second with Death Claw Brown. We're making progress on all the small details before we hit the big armor panels. As you can see, I also painted the ball the same way. All the straps and shoes are painted with Black Templar. And highlight it twice. First with Thunderhawk Blue. And second with Pharisian Grey. Now on to the big armor panels. Most of the armor is painted with Blood Angel Red. I keep a few select panels bare and I don't paint parts that I want to read as metal. The remaining panels are painted with Yendon Yellow. As you can see, I'm going for a Evil Sun color scheme for all you orc aficionados out there. Anything that I want to read as metal, I paint with Basiliconum Grey. It's a great base for an easy, non-metallic look. I highlight all the metal with Administratum Grey. And highlight again with Ulthan Grey. Now it's time to add transfers to the models. I'll just go over it quickly. First cut out whatever transfer you want and put it in a cup of water for about 30 seconds. Paint the area you want the transfer to be on with micro set. Get the transfer out of the water and carefully slide the transfer to the position you want it. Leave it to dry for a short period and then paint it with micro sole which will set the transfer to whatever curve you have. Next, I take a small piece of foam and apply some administratum grey to it. Then I carefully dab this on the armor plates. This creates cool looking random battle damage. Just make sure you don't overload the foam. I do the same with Evil Sun Scarlet on the red armor panels. Make sure to go over the transfers as well as that will make them look more integrated into the armor. And I finish with Flash Gets Yellow on the yellow armor panels. I must confess when I painted the armor panels bright red I wasn't really happy with them. It's quite a standout color of red, but with the added battle damage they look a lot more subdued. I cover all the bases with Sterling Mud. 
No neat grass fields for my org boys. They go muddy. I add a little bit of grass flock in random patterns on the base and the shoe bottoms. Finally, I paint the rim of the base with Corvus Black. And here we have a ragtag group of Orc Blood Bowl players. While painting, I noticed the models look great, but there are some weird modeling choices. Where for instance, spikes would be looking good at one angle, and then kind of merge into the leg looking from behind. It doesn't really matter, but then they still look great. I hope this video will help anyone who either wants to paint orc skins or this cool looking Blood Bowl team. I'm going to prepare my 100th video on the channel. I have no idea what I'll do with it though. If you have any suggestions, definitely let me know in the comments. In the meantime, be sure to check out my Instagram where I post pictures of current projects and behind the scenes stuff. But for now, thanks for watching.